for those people that's the person everyone calls when they're going through something that is good that is all good but you have to check on those people also if you know anyone that just had a baby or had a baby last year you need to check on those people and you need to rally around those people and they are going to tell you that everything is okay and you have to sometimes read in between the lines and see what someone needs just give just be there for people and stop using the excuse of well they didn't say none they didn't ask people show signs people lash out people become uh standoffish people show signs that people show signs that they need help so we just gotta be there for people as human beings and if you ever went through something in your life and when you was going through that and if you had a thought or or I know you thought like I wish somebody was here for me like this fill in the blank be that for somebody be that fill in the blank for somebody because guarantee somebody is going through something that you've been through and um, it's not about telling them which way or how to do it it's about just loving them and being there for them in general and being that ear love I kind of just put the shoes in there, but I'm going to take them out and put like the most presentable shoes at the mm -hmm. top mm -hmm. and get like Crocs and stuff at the bottom. So the heels and stuff will go at the top mm -hmm. and then Crocs and stuff will go at the bottom. Mm -hmm. and and this is it looks. I absolutely love it. I like it. this because um, it has this in the cap. The things were like $20 a piece. I'm so definitely the glue don't get done. Before you can also use these for um, like your handbags and different stuff like that. So yeah, I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I really don't like this bonnet I got on it. But I can't find my freaking favorite bonnet. I'm about to make some of those chicken tenders that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm hungry. And I put all my extra ones in this like mail bag. Just in case I lose them. So I Today we are making a rasta pasta and I'm going to do the Alfredo sauce um, from scratch. Y'all look, I found some dairy free heavy whipping cream. I'm excited because I'm going to use that in my sauce. And I'm going to use coconut milk for my base. And yeah. I got the shrimp marinating and some cracker crab seasoning. And also some coated man jerk because you need that jerk flavor. All right, I got my noodles cooked and then to my rasta sauce, and now I'm just doing my shrimp. It's jerk shrimp and then my pepper blend mixed with a little bit of salsa, seasoning, jerk seasoning, cut and crab seasoning. I found this today red lobster seafood seasoning. seasoning. I haven't, we won't see what it do. I got this from Dollar Tree. Rasta pasta, jerk shrimp and peppers. But here go the peppers, cause my son don't like all the peppers and jerk shrimp for him, cause he like jerk shrimp. I wish y'all could smell this Rasta pasta. Oh yeah. The rasta pasta was so good that I had to recreate it, y'all. Mm. I'm going to have the recipe up on my YouTube channel. What's up, y'all? I want to know, women, do y'all, like, look sexy for y'all husbands around the house? Like, 
not like no full blown lingerie, but like, you know, booty shorts or cute little like rompers or like, you know, like nice body con dress with nothing on up under it, right, right, man? Yeah. Do y'all dress sexy for y'all husbands or do y'all just be like t shirt and on pants? And even if you do it for yourself, but do you do it for him though? Just wanted to know. Oh, you want to know if I do it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Well, I do it for me because I look good, but I do it for him because I know he going to look. And tonight I'm making fried Oreos. I'm getting ready to go make the batter and turn my grease on. And I'm going to show y'all. Tonight, I'm making fried Oreos. I'm getting ready to go make the batter and turn my... I don't have no powdered sugar, so... I need that for my picture for the aesthetics. Like. <laughs> now, I'm about to add the dry ingredients. A mix. Whip it. So, I'm just flipping it over. Golden brown. Ooh, look at that. Let's grab one of these. Mm. Some ice cream.